Israel's military hit sites in Lebanon and Gaza early on Friday. In retaliation to rockets fired at northern and southern Israel over the previous day. Israel blamed those attacks on the Islamist group Hamas as tensions threatened to spiral out of control after police raids this week on Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem. No serious injuries were reported and neither side seemed keen to broaden the conflict. Earlier this week, Israeli police clashed with Palestinian worshippers, arresting and removing hundreds of people from the compound. It drew condemnation across the Arab world. The ensuing rocket attacks on Thursday on Israeli towns were the largest from Lebanon since a 2006 war. They interrupted the Jewish holiday of Passover and sent residents running for shelters. Israel's military responded with airstrikes early on Friday. In Lebanon, residents like Abu Hussein said he felt the airstrikes in the early hours and the strike appeared to have left a large crater in the farmland. The UN peacekeeping mission in Lebanon said it had been in contact with the parties involved. Stefan Dujarek is a UN spokesperson. We urge all actors to exercise maximum restraint. In Gaza, the streets were largely empty after Israeli airstrikes hit the area earlier. Israel said its jets hit 10 targets linked to Hamas. Palestinian officials said the strike hit an open field. Some nearby houses and a children's hospital were damaged. <laughs> Taxi driver Mohanan Abu Nima said his car was completely damaged. He added the strike came with no warning. An Israeli military spokesman said the Israeli operation was over for the moment.